get the pie for that. Why do you keep going on about it? What's it got to do with me? I keep telling you, I don't know nothing about any silver. I'm a miller. Flour is what I know about. If someone's stealing silver from the mines, why don't you talk to the mint master about it? Well, we did. He was the one that brought it up. It's our job to ask everyone who lives nearby if they saw anything suspicious. <laughs> then good luck with that. Because in case you haven't noticed, everyone around here lives near the mines. Aye, but some live closer than others. And then there's also the fact that... How to put it? We're asking you because, well, you're a miller, right? Oh, I see. Since I'm a miller, I must be a crook. Is that it? No, but you know what they say. Aye, they say you lot can hardly find your own asses. Never mind a thief. You're keeping me from my work, young fellas. So if we're done here, farewell and good luck. All right, miller. If you should happen to hear anything, let us know. I went for those nails, but the blacksmith is with Sir Radzik today. All right, leave it till tomorrow then. No hurry. Right now, I need something else. Quick. What's up? The guards were here asking around. They said someone's been stealing silver from the mines. Can you go and tell Stebor? He went to check the fish trap below the bridge. Go and talk to him. Pa sent me. The guards were here, asking about Silver going missing from the mines. Oh shit. Oh shit. All right. All right. Listen, Tess. I need your help. Not so fast. First, tell me what the hell is going on. All right. Look. How can I put it? Spit it out. Otherwise, you're on your own. All right. Pa came up with a nice little job. It's quite easy to sneak silver ore out of the mines, and he found this wealthy fella who offered to buy it. So, well, it does lead back to us. The missing silver is ours. Merciful God! I need your help, Teresa. Sweet Jesus. You fellas haven't the sense you were born with. But family is family. Thanks, Tess. I'm sorry to drag you into it, but I can't manage it on my own. Where did you hide it? That's the thing. It's at the bottom of a flooded shaft. Samuel was working there before. You dragged Samuel into it too? No, no. Samuel knows nothing about it. So why don't you just go and get it? I don't know how to get to it. For heaven's sake, Stebor. Do you know where it is or not? Yes, but you see, when I was carrying it out, they stopped me. I was standing on this wooden walkway and I dropped it over the edge so they wouldn't catch me with it. And now I don't know how to get to it. All I know is it made a splash when it fell. And how are we supposed to find it? Go crawling through the whole mine? No, I've got an idea. Samuel knows that area. He he'll know how to get to the shaft. Oh no, Stebor, forget it. You're not going to drag Samuel into your dangerous games. Christ, no. What do you take me for? All he has to do is draw a map. And we'll do the rest. All right, Stebor. I'll go to Samuel and get the map from him. Have you got something I can give him to draw it with? Here. Give him this. And try to get it from him without giving the game away. Otherwise, Pa will have a fit if he finds out. I'll do what I can. Where is Sammy now? And where do you think? I saw him heading for the fish pond, as usual, to avoid work. Once you have it, come and meet me at Wenceslas Corridor on the hill, 
I'll be waiting there. God, what happened to you? You look like you've been assaulted. Sammy, I need something from you. Oh, Tess, I just got ready for fishing. Don't worry, you don't have to go anywhere. Remember that mine shaft where you used to work before it got flooded? Yeah, it was a deep one. We went down that morning and we were up to our knees in water. Master Faithfar said that always happens when you dig deeper than the drainage added. We dug a well to slow it down, but even that wasn't enough. Do you think you could draw me a map of the way there? Why? What on earth would you want that for? You'll just have to trust me, Sammy. It's very important. It's... a family problem. I might have known it'd be some Miller intrigue again. It's no wonder the folks say the things they do about us. Give me that and I'll draw it for you. I don't even want to know any more about it. Thanks. I'll run to him with it right away. So, can we go and do it? I got that map from Samuel. What now? Great! Well, first, we've got to get into the mine. That fool Nimoy is keeping watch. It'd be best if we split up. I'll get rid of him, and you can sneak in. All right. Let's get it over with, then. Once I get rid of him, you sneak inside past the bushes. And take a torch with you. It's as black as pitch in there. Just make sure no one sees you, though. Good luck, Tess. Hey, Nimoy, you rogue! Come here a minute. Got belly, I got... What do you want, Miller's boy? Looking for that clumsy brother of yours? What's he done now? Not one of the supports.
My, that's a hell of a drop. Better be careful. Cold. But this must be the place Stebor was talking about. Now to find that wooden walkway. I wouldn't want to get lost in here. The walkway. Sack must be here somewhere. I found the silver in the mine. Not so loud. Oh, good work, lass. Leave it here, and I'll take care of everything. Thanks. I'd like to say I'm glad to be of help, but I'm not, Pa. It could have ended badly for everyone. Very, very badly. Tis... You know I only want the best for all of you, don't you? I do, Pa. I know you mean well. Just... Please, be careful, all right? You and Stebor. Don't worry, lass. We will. Thanks. What about that surprise you promised me this morning? Well, I won't keep you in suspense any longer. Besides, you deserve it. After helping us with that silver. So, I had a dress made for you in Rate. A very fine dress, indeed. You'll be the prettiest lass in the village. A new dress, Pa. But... I don't understand. Why? Well... You know... You're not a little girl anymore. You're a young woman now, mature and clever. Cleverer than me, for sure. You surely don't want to live here at the mill forever. Samuel's able to take care of himself, and... After all that's happened, you don't want to end up with the kind of life me and Stiebel have. What is it, Pa? Why did you buy me that dress? Look, Teresa, you're old enough to be married. It's about time we did something about it. You're right, I suppose. But I don't have any suitors. Actually, you do. I know of someone. You... you found a husband for me? Who is it? Don't worry. He's a decent man. A nice man. He's even close to the nobility. And he's rich. He'll take care of you. There's going to be a fete at the tavern this evening. Sir Radzi gave permission for a pig roast, and... Who is it? You can just have a chat, dance a little, and who knows? You might like him. Are you going to tell me who it is? It's Chief Engineer Tobias. Tobias Fafar? Aye, that's right. 
Are you pulling my... What are you thinking of, Father? Thaythar has one foot in the grave. Oh, come now. Why didn't you ask me? You couldn't simply let me know what you were planning? Uh, Teresa, uh, listen. It's all Teresa do this, Teresa go and cook, Teresa clean up. And now, for good measure, Teresa go and marry an old fossil. Does nobody care what I want? Well, of course we care. And you're right, I should have told you. You're damned right you should. Good God, I never thought you'd make such a fuss about it. It's the way things are done. Try and see it from my point of view. Tobias Fafar is a very well-to-do suitor. You'll find none better in Scullitz. Listen, we can talk it over, but the decision is mine to make. You've got to think of your future, Teresa. Master Fafar is a respected man, and that respect will extend to his wife and children too. Children? For heaven's sake, lass, don't be so naive. You were born a girl, and raising a family is what God made you for. Unless you'd prefer the convent. Go to the tavern this evening and let Master Fafer spend a nice pile of groschen on you. You'll have a great time, you'll see. <laughs> Show me that dress, then. It's in the trunk here under the window. Once you've done all your chores, get dressed up and off you go. Thank <laughs> you.